All right, let's go to the men's 1600 and this event. Soviet national team had the world record and SMU set the meet NCAA mark here a year ago. This will be run in two heats and in the first heat in lane number one, Baylor, in lane number two, Villanova, in lane three, Arkansas. Arkansas, if they score any points at all, will win the men's team title. And with Roddy Haley on the anchor end, why they figure to get some points. The men's four by 400 meter relay will be run in two sections. They had seven teams, six lanes. They broke it down into to two separate sections. The first one will contain the teams of Baylor, Villanova, and Arkansas. They drew by lots, and it is on a time basis. The second section, four teams. There you see, that's Baylor. Down with their leadoff, Darnell Chase. To show you the talent that we have here, the world record is set by the Russian national team in 1970 in Sofia over in Soviet block land. Three, uh, three hours, three minutes, five, and 90 one hundredths of a second is the time that they're ideally shooting for. Every team, all seven of these involved, have run 307 in a fraction or faster. The American collegiate record they're gunning for in three minutes, six, and 30 one hundredths of a second set by the U.S. National Team. Well, as you look at the teams in this, you have seven teams, six of which have a real tradition of mile relays. They're smaller schools, and for years, a lot of them, like Baylor, Villanova, SMU, they put all their marbles on great relay teams. Florida's a newcomer to this. Uh, the mile relay elite. So you've got three of them. Arkansas, they can run indoors or out. Villanova, known for their indoor running. Baylor, a great outdoor team. Okay, that's Darnell Chase for Baylor on the inside in green. Villanova running right now in second place as they cut for the pole. Grant Davis carrying the baton. Arkansas, John Register is in third. And this is hold on to the baton time because there's going to be some bumping. A lot of passing here already. Register, kind of a sloppy runner. He can't handle the turns too well. Lost his balance twice, but he's going to fight for the Razorbacks. 50 meters to go before the handoff, and it's going to be Grant Davis in first. Villanova with Arkansas. Villanova in first, Arkansas second, Baylor in third. Battle 47 4 for Grant Davis, who ran a smart race. He was moving all around his lane. Baylor looking to pass now. It's going to be close on his second leg. Baylor in third place, running that leg, Keith Stanford. For Villanova, it's Mark Jones. For Arkansas, Mike Clemens. Well, don't forget, all Arkansas has to do is stay close, and then they've got Roddy Haley to pull him out of it. Going over, doing a good job, not with big stars, but guys who know how to run the board. Here comes Mike Clemens. Can he get by? It looks to me like he might be run wide by Mark Jones from Villanova. Well, it's gut check time on this leg. They're all tired. Baylor hanging in there. Edwin Motivini from South Africa takes the baton from Villanova. Arkansas has Lorenzo Brown who ran earlier tonight. Look at Baylor. That is Mike Johnson smoking the field. Very smart move. Edwin Motivini likes to go out very slowly. He was sleeping on the first turn. And Baylor either knew his style or picked it up real quick. Motivini did not make the finals in the 500. Kind of a surprise. He's got a lot to prove on this leg. Johnson, somebody's handing that guy a piano right now. It's Motivini taking over the lead. Here comes Lorenzo Jones. Lorenzo Brown off the turn for Arkansas. Motivini, 50 meters to the handoff. Pulling away ever so slightly from Arkansas. He's going to hand the baton off to Tony Valentine. That man has his work cut out for him. Watch Roddy Haley in second place for Arkansas. Okay, Tony Valentine came to Villanova as an intermediate hurdler. Roddy Haley can spot just about anybody in the world 10 yards. You've got to expect them to make it up. In fact, the Razorbacks here in the crowd aren't even cheering them on yet. Well, wait. This is going to be a great finish, Marty. I think this will be separated almost by a photo timer. Ray Pierre in third place is no slouch for Baylor either. One lap to go, 175 yards. Valentine running well. Can Haley run him down? Let's watch. of a second, a little slower than people had expected, but our 
Arkansas has a chance to win the 4x400. We'll have to see what happens in the second heat. What well, about that anchor leg? Rodney Haley could pass him. In fact, he moved by Valentine so quickly that Raymond Vieira Baylor came along in the slipstream. So Baylor moved in the second coming off the last turn. Here's Haley. He's got it. He can change gears. But don't forget, there's another heat coming up. And the time has to stand up. I don't know, 308 may not hold up when you've got Florida, Texas, and SMU in the second heat. Roddy Haley split unofficially 45 and 2 tenths of a second. We'll be back for the second heat of the 4 by 400 meter relays. Southern Methodist, Florida, Rice, and Texas still to come. The men's 4 by 400 meters. Arkansas coach John McDonald's team won their last heat. And it's on a time basis. Lane one will be Southern Methodist. Lane two, the University of Florida. Rice University in lane three. Texas on the outside. Running for Southern Methodist will be Harold Spells on the leadoff. Florida has Mark Everett. Rice has Patrick Gordon. Texas has John Patterson. Coming off the first turn, they can cut for the pole, and Rice is going to try and take it. And they will. Watch out in the turn, guys. Watch it. Whoa. Rice University. Patrick Gordon has the lead. That is John Patterson. No, Patterson is running in fourth. Taking over the lead is Florida. That's Nick Rahal. Now, that's a lead off of Florida is Dennis Mitchell. There's a lot of changes here. Roy Martin's not on the first leg for SMU, but Dennis Mitchell is now in second for Florida. We'll give you the handoff split, and it's a good one. 47 flat. Okay, that's Nick Rahal in second now for Florida. Still a close race, and here's Rocket Boy Martin in fourth place for SMU. Rice right now in the lead with Robbie Timmons running its second leg for them. Nick Rahal trying to take the lead. Texas is in third. SMU is in fourth. That is Roy Martin. He's having a little bit of trouble with the turns, but he's got such great speed, he can pass on the straightaways, but then he hits the brakes a little. Ah, oh, he's running this turn well. I think Martin might bring SMU up to the lead. Going from fourth to first. Robbie Timmons holding on for Rice. Here comes that powerful, outstanding high school star of a couple of years ago, Roy Martin passing on. 1.33, they were at the split. They're right on 3.07 pace. Harold Spells out there leading off right now for Rice in first place is Byron Justice. And Lamont Brown of Texas wants to move in the second. He got stepped on from behind by Florida. He comes back in. This is his move on the outside as SMU also goes wide. Rice has had a nice time of it. They got out in front early and they're able to stay there. True, Marty. Here we go in the anchor leg. Good, terrible, terrible one by SMU, but Rice had a good one. They did. Courtney Brown running the anchor for Rice University. Kevin Robenzine for SMU. Ted McLaughlin's Mustangs in second. Texas pulling up into third place here. That is Winthrop Graham out there. Florida back and forth. 46-9 for the leader, Rice University, on the second leg. Oh, Robinson just got himself into a box. He's positioning now. <laughs> Here comes Kevin Robinson from SMU. Courtney Brown running for Rice in second. It's Texas third, Florida fourth. Can they win the NCAA title? Let's watch. It looks like SMU. Rice might get second overall. Maybe Arkansas gets third. We'll have to wait until they can combine both heats. Unofficially, Kevin Robenzine, 45-7 on an indoor track for 400 meters. That's his second race of the day. 45-7, Roddy Haley in the first heat, 45-2. This is the last pass now. Rice comes in, watch, they get a nice pass, blind stick pass. Reaches back, SMU waiting for the stick. Kevin had to wait for the stick. 
but the way it's timed, that time went on the third man's time, so Kevin's still got a good, clean spread, 45-7. That's what you argue about in the locker room later. Why'd you slow up in my half of the zone? Sure, but of course, the guy coming in to pass the baton is always dying. Well, he ran with a bad arm. I don't know what that injury is, but it looks like a bad elbow. And the Mustangs continue their superiority at 4 by 400 They've run well for years at the NCAA championships in this particular event. Southern Methodist University winning the men's 1600 meter relay and picking up 10 points, but it wasn't enough. Arkansas too powerful. And the Razorbacks with 39 win this uh, indoor championship. SMU second. And in a tie for third, McNeese State, Indiana, and Georgetown at 16 points each. 